Hello, North Vegan here, back with another episode of Special Feature Friday. Today we're going to be looking at Exanima, a 3D isometric uh, RPG dungeon crawler with physics. Yeah, so let's go to the Steam page and take a look and see what the developers, Bare Metal Entertainment, have to say about the game. Explore, fight, survive, and unravel mysteries in this unique and unforgiving 3D isometric RPG set in an original, dark, low fantasy world. Exanima's exceptional attention to detail and realistic simulation of all things aim to provide a deeply immersive and dynamic gameplay experience. Features include a deep skill-based combat system, complex and smart AI, fully interactive environments, an advanced damage model with accurate collisions and locational protection, roguelike elements, and an arena mode to hone your combat skills. Those who would enter the underworld shall not only forfeit their lives, but bring oblivion to all mankind. So I took a look at this at the uh, request of one of my longtime subscribers, Molded Zealot, so thank you for bringing this to my attention. Uh, I, I have not been able to put this thing down since I first picked it up, and it, let me tell you, it's brutal, and I'm horrible at it, but uh, I've been having tons of fun with it, uh, lots of laughs, and... Uh, Lots of fun. So there's basically there's two modes of play. One in which you you go through the uh, the, the dungeon crawl. Okay, that's the new game, the the general game. And then there's the arena in which you can set up your character as well a guy in an arena, and you manage not only yourself but you can hire other fighters and uh, just do combat. And you do rounds of combat and get more money, and then you can use that money to buy new gear. And then you can do higher tiered uh, competition, and uh, it's pretty cool. I, I played it actually more than I played the dungeon crawl because I didn't want to ruin myself on the dungeon crawl in preparation for making this video. Um, also in the arena is the ability to practice, um, just practice combat, just uh, you know one on one. You advance up levels and uh, until you reach a very difficult opponent. And there's a, both a novice and an expert mode for that. So that was pretty I played all the way through the novice on that finally. That took me a little while, but uh, I finally maybe have the hang of the combat a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, well, without further ado, let's just take a look at the dungeon crawl, and then we'll take a look at the arena as well. So if, when you start a new game, you have the ability to choose your background here. I believe as you advance, you'll have other options as well. Of course, you can choose uh, your name, and uh, whether you're a male or female, you can change your physique. Let's make this guy a little bit like myself here. Let's, uh, he's really short. That's, that's me. Yeah, yeah. I'm about middle-aged, yep. Um, let's see, just a little paunchy, but not super paunchy. There we go. Something like that. That looks, that looks, um, I, it's like I'm looking in a mirror almost. Um, I wish they had better beards. That's... I am kind of a pinkish hue, so maybe I should... There we go. There we go! <laughs> this is me without any clothes on, by the way. Yeah, you're welcome. Alright, so now you can go to the next screen. You can choose your starting gear, which is really really limited. And um, then you get to also get to choose your skill tree. And what this basically does is, as you play the game, you get global experience, and then you can uh, attribute it to these different types of uh, skill trees. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into close combat and I'm going to learn uh, thinned perhaps yeah so that I can parry a little quicker. Um, and you can see that the global experience I've already done some with close combat uh, so um, it gets applied to that but even if you play like all the way through it and then you start a new character you'll have that experience that you can then attribute to that character. It's pretty neat. Alright, you awaken in a dungeon and down here is your health. Yellow is your stamina. Blue is your something. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what the blue bar is. Uh, yellow is your stamina. When you get hit with non-lethal damage, your stamina goes down. If it goes down all the way, you get knocked out. If you get injured, the red bar starts to fill up this yellow bar and when the red bar gets filled up all the way to the end you're dead so you can pick up just a just about anything in the uh, 
in the map. Well, not just about anything, but a lot of things are interactable. So, uh, first I want to read this message here. This page should be the final page of a letter, and assist him in whatever way you can. And if all else fails, then recover any information he has gathered and bring it to me. There is potential in you. Succeed here, and we will find a place for you. Badly scribbled across the back of the page are the following words. There is another way out. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, you can you can come around. You can interact with all the environment. You can pick stuff up out of this crate. Unfortunately, you can't use these boards as weapons. But you can you can pick stuff up. You can, I think you can even try to get in the crate. I I kind of got stuck when I tried to do that. But you can trip over these blocks. So you know if you you can stumble. Your guy runs with a little bit of a gimp. <laughs> a gimp. I shouldn't say that. He runs with a little bit of a limp. <laughs> Pigeon toad or something. But anyway, uh, there is a weapon we first start off the uh, metal stake. Good for fighting uh, vampires. No, that's a wooden stake. Uh, but th this is a horrible weapon, and I've gotten killed many times trying to use this weapon. But uh, it's your only option at the very beginning. But yeah, you can uh, you can move around. You whoop, almost tripped. You can pick up some of the smaller crates, like this one. Yeah, you can you can move it around. You can use it to barricade doors. You can move these baskets around. You know, clean up a little bit. Not oh, made such a big mess, but. Uh, yeah, you can you can uh, interact with a lot of the environment around, which is pretty cool. You can also pan the camera around to to get a better view of your environment, and then you can also you can use WASD to move around. And then you can also use the right mouse um, button, which I, I tend to use that more because I used to play Ultima um, Serpent Isle, and that was the uh, way you ran around on there. So it feels very familiar to me and uh, welcome a welcome feel. So yeah, let's just do a little exp exploration. I don't know if we're going to do a let's play on this or not. It depends on uh, what you guys think. But we'll just do a little exploring and see if we can find something interesting straight away here. That must be locked. Can't open that door. So let's go down here. Hopefully we can uh, experience some combat here and watch me die. Hopefully I don't die. Okay, let's see. Oh, hi. Hello. Sometimes the the zombies in here are not immediately aggressive. But they just kind of wander around until you engage them. So I'm just going to let him wander around just for a second. See if I can find a better weapon. Uh, can I do anything with this? Oh, yes I can. Hi. Let's see if this is a better shirt. You can do layers on your armor. So I have not only my uh, cloth shirt... Also have a fine leather tunic now, which gives me extra protection. Uh, and we got a mace here, simple bomb mace, and an axe, a woodcutter's axe. I think this is a two-hander, isn't it? Yes. I kind of want to go one-handed so I can hold that torch because it is dark in here without the torch. So I'm gonna go with the mace. At least I got a little bit of better weapon, except for the stake. Um, I'm not sure, but I don't think. Uh, Carrying stuff in your inventory gives you encumbrance, but uh, I'm not I'm not positive about that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit tab and go into combat mode and swack this guy. Oh, there we go. So I'm gonna see if I can not get killed here. There we go. Take that, punk. Oh, he's running. Where are you going? All right, here we go. Take that. Ah, take it, take it. Oh, oh, get off the wall. Get off the wall. Ah, oh, shoot. Where's he going? All right. Sometimes whenever the camera moves, it pans around, I, I get kind of messed up. So I try to keep the camera kind of behind me. Uh, otherwise, I get messed up with my controls. Where'd he go? Oh, I hear him. Ah! All right. Back, backhanded swing. Oh, didn't do me good. Didn't do me good. There we go. Uh oh. You can do an overhead swing too, but I find it to be super slow with most weapons. All right. Well, we we did it. it took a, quite a bit of damage with one hit. Cloth trousers. No thanks. You can loot every single enemy, which is cool. I think I will take this hatchet though. That seemed like it was a pretty good, pretty good weapon. No, not the board, the hatchet. 
There we go. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. All right. So now half of my health is gone. <laughs> I won't. I think it's slowly over time. This goes. This heals up. I haven't seen any like uh, anything definite there. But you, yeah, you can interact with all of the uh, the environment. Like I can put this ladder down, and then you can climb the ladder. Hey, maybe I can if I can figure out how to do it here. <laughs> Might have to put stuff out of my hands to do it. But uh, yeah, you can do it. Oh, great. Three doors. One of them's locked, I think. Oh, no, it's not locked. Okay, cool. Well, I guess we're going in this door. Uh-huh. There's some light in these rooms. What's this? Some sort of barrel. What's, what do you call a barrel maker? Uh, Cooper? Perhaps? Let's see what we got in here. Cage bar. Hmm. It might be good to have a long-range weapon. Blacksmith's hammer. I'm gonna take the cage bar. I've got a mace already. I think that's superior to the hammer. I'm gonna drop the spike just in case. Oh, I've got an axe already. No, we'll keep we'll keep the cage bar just in case. Let's see what else we got here. A book. A log of work orders. It seems as though many people were involved in in completing them. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it looks like that might be all we can do. In here, don't trip, Bubba. Yeah, there's some barrel making paraphernalia. Another hammer on the floor. Okay. This place is huge. This place is huge. Another door over there. Oh my god. Yeah, the map is is really big. Oh, there's an oh my god, there's zombies everywhere. Hello. Alright, they didn't seem immediately aggressive. Is that a guy or a girl? I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's got like a machete or something. Let's just follow him. Yeah, take that. Oh yeah, block, block it. There you go. Take that. Chop that. Chop it. Chop it like dead wood. Uh oh. Too close. Oh crap. Oh crap. Got two visitors. Ah, oh, shoot. Get back. Get back. There you go. And you can kind of aim at the, like, the different parts of their body and get different kinds of hits. Uh oh. I'm trapped. Ah. Oh, I'm stuck. Get off of there. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I'm still very expertly blocking. Because I am a champion. <sighs> there we go. Oh, here you go. Overhead chop. Okay. Whew. Luckily, these zombies are very slow and unwieldy. There we go. Whew. What she got? Candlestick? Candlestick. Candle holder, yeah. She's got any good clothes. What she got here? Cloth trousers. Suede shoes. Cloth shirt. Don't want any of that. Okay. Let's just keep walking this way, I guess. I guess we'll go this way. Hello? Oh, it's a push open. Oh! Oh, this is the original hallway we went into. Okay, we made like a, a loop-de-loo. All right. Well, let's let's go back in here then, because I did see some uh, additional. Oh, there's that other zombie for one thing, and then there's some more doors in here to be explored. Oh, here he is. Hi. All right. I wanted to get into the open place, so I could get have more footwork room but there you go ha 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 take that sucker what do you got another cloth shirt cloth trousers suede shoes okay what was his weapon I think I can pick him up if... yeah, there you go move, it, move him out of the way here where's his weapon at where 
is his weapon? I don't, I don't see it anywhere. Did it disappear? Oh man, I wanted to try out whatever that was. Okay, well. Unfortunately, I do not see his weapon. There's his hammer here, but that's not what he was using. Did it fall under a table or something? I don't know. That's, that's too bad. That's unfortunate. Okay. Let's go take a look in here. This is where I was heading. Let's see if there's anything under here. Oh. The sledgehammer. He wants to be my friend. Another sledgehammer. Wow, cool. I'm getting lots of uh, heavy weaponry, but I'm, I'm more of a light weapon kind of guy. I'm a light fella. I'm a little, little fella. Yeah, this is this is new. Some sort of cart shed. Got some hammers, some tongs. Okay. Don't think anything we definitely need here. It's hard to look on the shelves. Okay. Here's what's this? A bottle. Is there anything in it? I don't know, maybe I might need a bottle to carry water or something. I don't know, who knows? Let's go in here. Oh, hi! There's a fellow with a big stick in there. Should I use a big stick too? No. I'm going to use my weapon. My axe. Oh, my God. He's quick with that thing. Oh shoot, I'm tripping over stuff. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, take it in the kidney, buddy. Ow. Ow. I better run. 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 Run like the wind blow. Ah, oh, he's coming. He's coming after me. Get in there. Oh my god. This is bad. He's ru he's running after me, boy. Hey, he's fast too. Oh crap! Might have to fight. Oh crap! I'm down. <laughs> I've been defeated. I'm not dead, I don't think. So, I'm not sure what that's gonna mean in the in this mode. Yeah, okay. I woke up somewhere else. Oh, he wants to fight again. Okay, well that's unfortunate. Because I'm already, I'm already down. He's just going to keep beating me down. Oh, gosh. Run along now while I wake up. Get up. Come on. Oh, he killed me. And that's it. So once you die, you're dead. And that's, that's all there is. There's no load save scumming or anything like that but uh anyway all right so now we're going to take a look at the arena combat take a look at that um that play style so let's go ahead and go into the arena i'm gonna start a new game and uh we'll, we'll change it up a little bit uh, brody he's not gonna be like me he's gonna be a nice tall gentleman and he's gonna be kind of beefy not not too flabby let's make oh he's a beefcake oh yeah Sexy. All right. Let's make him a little tanner. Oh, he's a he's a beaut. Give him some long, luscious. Let's make him a ginger though. Copper top. There we go. Now we're talking. Oh, he's beautiful. He's beautiful, and a beautiful man like this needs. Some beautiful clothes. I'm gonna give him a cleaver, I think. All right, and I think we're ready. Okay. So, um, when you first spawn into the arena here, you have this shop here that you can come in, and it gives you lots of tool tips about uh, how the shop works. But basically, you can buy all these different items. I only have one silver and seven copper currently, so uh, all these items will be too expensive. Oh, look, there's some. This is one silver, nine copper, so. Couple of missions I should be able to buy some nice fan braces at least. Uh, I'd love to have a new weapon, but the dagger is eight silver. Whew, it's expensive. So let's uh 
go over here to the roster and this is where you can hire a, uh, a, 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 a this is where you can hire a fighter to work for you you can hire these and these are people that uh, are already all skilled up of different uh, varieties of skill this guy is a combatant he's an aspirant combatant so you can see he's already got some skills here and then uh, you can see this guy's inept uh, he doesn't have much in the way of skill and you can see there's his hire fee even though he's inept he's got <laughs> he's three silver to hire this guy and uh, some of the more advanced ones uh, of course will be more expensive let's see if we can find one that's really advanced here uh, most of these are all the same all inept okay oh here's look at this guy <laughs> 41 gold to hire him <laughs> yeah bye okay but you can also go in here to recruit and it's a lot cheaper to recruit and uh, we're gonna call this we're gonna hire a female we're gonna call her Lydia and you can uh, change their physique as well and let's give her some different hair here she don't need she don't need long hair she's gonna have short hair she's a combatant okay Lydia give her pink hair because she likes pink of course she does all right so we're gonna give her a quarter staff instead of her normal things there okay and we're gonna give her uh faint and it costs one silver to recruit so it is kind of expensive but it'll be good for us to have two people so now we got two people here i'm gonna take brody over to the match board and you can see all these different matches here and I can choose either Lydia or Brody to take into the match um, the first one is a duel it costs three copper to enter I've only got seven copper left uh, but it'll give me one silver to win so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the to the duel I don't know if I should take Lydia or Brody hmm. let's uh I think I'll fight better with uh, hatchet than I will the quarterstaff so I'm gonna take Brody in we're going to do the duel and uh, hopefully win one silver here. It does give you a warning that if your manager is killed, basically that's the end of the game. So, But I, I'm, I'm okay with that. I think I, I, think I can win, uh, hopefully. All right, he's got a cleaver as well. All right. Ah, shoot. I'll get back. Ah, come on. Ow. Got me a good hatch on, on my arm there. There we go. Stunned her a little bit. I should have went in for the kill on that. There we go. Ah. There we go. Ow. Come on, Brody. Oh, Brody gets knocked out. <laughs> and we died, and that's the end of the... That's the end of the deal. I don't know if I can win an elimination. I wish I could do this fray, but I don't know that I'll be good enough. We're going to try it, even though it's a, an aspirant level. I'm going to let these guys fight it all out. And hopefully, I'll only have to fight the winner. But I should get some good coin from this. So, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna play it safe. Pick off a, a winner here. Hopefully, Bobby can... I might be able to get like some armor and stuff too from these guys to finish the battle. Let's knock that guy over there. He's down. Oh, he's down too. Uh oh. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this up. Let's get this stuff on here quick, because they will come over and attack me. Okay. Here we go. Whoop. All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Get off the wall. Ah, come on, Bobby. Come on, Brody. I mean, Bobby. That was another guy I played as. He was he was cool. But he, he lost ultimately as well. Alright. Uh, uh. There we go. Oh, she should be already hurt a little bit. Come, ah, so close. There we go. Probably should have picked up one of those weapons, actually. Whew. 
There we go. There we go. There we go. Got oh, Bobby. Don't Brody. Get Ah God. Oh, don't stumble over the bodies. Oh. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Whew. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, unfortunately, I don't get to keep this stuff that I got from this battle. So that's unfortunate. But we did get a little bit of uh, money from that. Let's go take a look at see our roster here. Now we got three silver and one copper. So let's do one more match. Um, can't do doubles yet for some reason. I thought we'd be able to do... Uh, but you can't take your manager into doubles. So that's unfortunate. We can do pugil uh, pugilism. So we'll do that with Lydia. We'll come in here. She's going to just fight it out with this. Lady here. Is this a fe lady or a fella? Don't know. Come on, Lydia. Ah, oh, you're getting the crap beat out of you. Come on, Lydia. Don't lose my coppers. I need to gain coppers. Oh, Lydia. You let me down, girl. That's okay. Oh, crap. <laughs> what the heck? They ganged up on me. Oh, Lydia. She got hurt pretty bad. You would think that you'd be able to, like, get in close and, and do a lot of damage with a cleaver, and you'd have the advantage over the pole arm, but that's not always the case. They can do some pretty nasty damage with that thing. I survived. So that's good. Got a little extra money from that. Let's see what else we got now. We got three silver. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. This guy's tough. Let's go back this way. It's hard to block that quarterstaff with a freaking cleaver. Ah, shoot. Ow. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> it's eight gold. What about this sword? Three gold. What about this crappy sword? One gold. Uh, even the crappiest weapons are so expensive. Um, okay. Well, uh, there's some, there is some armor, but I don't think it's going to do me just a heck of a lot of good. Ah! No! Bo Brody! Bobby! Get it! Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up. There you go. Get out of the corner. Okay. There we go. Now we're talking. See, I wish we could keep this armor and stuff. That'd be awesome. <laughs> we can't. Okay. Oh, shoot. Come on. Come on, Lydia. There you go. That's a nice solid hit on his head there. I should have went in for this better strike here. Oh, crap. That was that hurt. Oh my god. That was horrible. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Come on, come on, Bobby. Chop him. There you go. Ah, come on, Bobby. There you go. Chopping. Chopping. Come on, Bobby. There you go. Whew, that was close. Whew, mama. Alright, so let's go see if we can buy anything with our silver now. That we've got. We've got four silver. Uh, that takes a gold. It's five silver for that. Two gold. Two gold. What's this? Six silver. Worn leather vest. Rawhide coat. Five silver. Ah, come on. Leather van braces. I just don't know how much that's going to help. Come on. Come on, Lydia. Hit him in the head. Come on. Hit him in the head. There you go. Nice. So now we have should... Oh, this is multiple battles. Oh, crap. I should have known that. There you go. Come on. I should have got his armor. I forgot it was multiple battles. Ow. There you go. 
Oh, I should have finished her. There you go. All right. Finish him. Let's see if I can get her coat here. Beautiful. Let's see if there's anything. Nah, nothing. All right. I will take her uh, blade, though, actually. Let's see if I can grab that. There we go. Let's do the next fight. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Come on, Lydia. Come on. There you go. Come on. You can also thrust with a weapon, but I find it's very slow and clumsy. And, plus this weapon's not really a thrusty weapon anyway. There you go. There you go. You notice I, I mostly fight from the right, but because I feel like the back swings are just too slow. There you go. Oh, nice. Let's see if he's got anything good I can wear. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, I won't be able to keep this, but it will help to have these extra layers in the next fight. Okay, here we go. Oh, crap. That looks like a mean weapon. Warhammer. There you go. Slow, though. Oh, shoot. I feel like just a couple hits and that thing is going to knock me out. Oh, see? <laughs> Shoot. All right, so that's the arena. And uh, anyway, you can uh, check out, check it out and uh, see what, which one you like the best. It's a pretty cool game. I, I'm having a lot of fun playing it. And if uh, you want to check it out, it's $14.99 on Steam right now. It is in early access. And uh, they are in development of a, uh, what they said, a bigger game. And if you purchase Exanima, you will automatically get that other game free as well. So it's kind of like a Kickstarter almost a little bit. But uh, anyway, you should check it out if you uh, think that looks interesting. And if you would like to see me do a little longer Let's Play on this, let me know in the comments section below and I will do so. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.